King David said in Psalm 101, I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all wickedness from the city of the Lord. And here we see that King David meets out justice. And in Psalm 101, verse 8, he talks about the workers of iniquity, how he's going to cut them off. And his throne, the throne of David, is a throne of judgment. And we see how his son, Shlomo, or Solomon, was used to mete out justice. And there were certain people who came before him, and it meant that justice required their execution. And this is something that a lot of people don't understand about the Ben Dovid. Moshiach Ben Dovid, when he comes, it says, Revelation 22, 12, he will bring his recompense with him to repay each one for what he has done. So the appearing of the Moshiach is not just the blessed hope, but it's also a trap for the workers of iniquity. It says, I will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. It says, stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the bar and osh. So we, we have to understand that the Ben Dovid Moshiach, go redeemer, is the bar and osh who comes to the Atik Yomin in Daniel chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. He comes on the glory clouds. And at the end of the world, he will come and he will mete out justice like his father David, Psalm 101, verse 7. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all evildoers, all workers of iniquity from the city of the Lord. So when he comes, when the new Jerusalem comes down from heaven, when all these things, these latter day fulfillments of prophecy come to pass, it will be a fearful thing to fall into the hands of an angry God and his Moshiach ben Dovid. And we need to look at Psalm 101, verses 7 and 8, and we need to realize why we are not supposed to stand around and look up into heaven, because this Moshiach ben Dovid, Yeshua, who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. And he's coming with his angels in the glory of his father. And then he will repay every person according to what he has done. Matthew chapter 16, verse 27. Many people are celebrating the birth of the Moshiach today. But as lightning comes from the east and shines as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Baranosh. He will come like a thief in the night. And we have to stay awake because we don't know on what day he is coming. Hallelujah. And Moshiach, when he comes, Moshiach, who is your life, when he appears, we will appear with him in glory. And that's why we look to the day of the Lord, the Yom Hashem. This, this is why we abide in him, so that when he appears, we may have confidence and not shrink from him in shame at his coming. 
First uh, Johann in chapter two, verse twenty-eight says that we want to be blameless, spirit, soul, and body. We want to be sanctified. We want to miss the great white throne judgment that the world will have to endure. Because if we know him, if we are caught up with him now, we'll be caught up with him then. If we love him, if we love his appearing, uh, even if we fall asleep, it says those who have fallen asleep will, ri will rise first. Uh, he will descend from heaven with a, a cry of command. There will be a, the voice of the uh, archangel, the sound of the shofar of Hashem, the dead in Moshiach will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall ever be with the Lord, always with the Lord. Because he has fixed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness. And woe to me if I preach not the gospel. We want to thank the Lord that all those Yiddish Bredite Shahs were sprinkled all over Brooklyn today. Yes, it was very cold outside and the streets were deserted. But the sower went out sowing the seed. And I pray that it falls on good ground. And I want to live every day as if it were my last. I want to be sober-minded. I want to set my hope fully on the grace that will be brought to me at the revelation of Moshiach ben Dovid. Today was a day to labor like Ruth in the harvest field. They that sow liberally will also reap liberally. There's a lawless one who's going to be revealed and he will be destroyed by the Moshiach when he comes. Second Thessalonians 2.8 And we see this terrible war going on in the Ukraine. And we see a little a little um horn that boasts of great things in the Kremlin in Moscow. But we know that the Lord comes with ten thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment on all and to convict all the ungodly of all the deeds of ungodliness that they have committed in such an ungodly way and of all the harsh things that ungodly sinners have spoken against him. And so we must be born again. Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him will the bar and Osh also be ashamed when he comes. And he is coming. Hallelujah. And it's time to be saved and redeemed and purchased and changed and transformed and born from heaven and made to be new. Hallelujah. And he's coming with all of his angels with him to sit on his glorious throne, the throne of David. And when we look at Psalm 101, verses 7 and 8, and when we look at uh, Revelation, chapter 1, verses 1 to 20, we see who he is. He made the good confession before the Kohen Gadol. I am, and you, you Kohen Gadol, will see the Bar Enosh seated at the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven. This means that judgment begins at the household of God. This means that if he is the Alpha and the Omega, 
if he is the chief shepherd and he's going to appear, then we want to receive the unfading crown of glory. And if we share his sufferings, then we will also share his glorious coming. Hallelujah. So we want to keep ourselves in the love of God. We want to wait for the mercy of, uh, of Moshiach ben Dovid, Ha'adon, that leads to Haye Olam. So I want to pray right now about those 400 Yiddish Pridhatashahs that I placed all over Borough Park today. I want to ask you, Lord, to plant those, those in good ground that will bring forth 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold. Hallelujah. And I want to ask you, Lord, to help us. Who is sufficient for these things? And, oh God, we pray right now for the help of the Holy Spirit that you, Lord, will do great and marvelous things that we know not of, that you will make this day when we when we celebrate the, the Mashiach's birthday, a day when many pick it up and read it, like Augustine, 